dear. Hi. Who, who are you? Who am I talking to? Uh, Patricia Barclay. Patricia, what is your? Do you have a company name or? Yes, it's Gifts by Patricia. Gifts by Patricia. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? I do ceramics. I replicate Native American designs onto ceramic vases and pots, and outline them in European gold. Which which the process is a, a three-firing traditional process. And if it's a particular, if it's a particular design, I, I sign all of my pieces on the bottom, and if it's a particular Native American tribe, I put their name on there. And this is Jim uh, I specialize in wedding vases, and this is a card. What does the wedding vase mean? The wedding vase is he and she together as one. And this is the wedding vase history. Oh, nice. The couple is supposed to, she drinks from one side of the vase and then it gives it to him and he drinks. And this ceremony unites them as one. The couple will treasure the vase throughout their life. Should one of them outlive the other, the remaining person will give the wedding vase to a couple known to be living a happily married life. The wedding vase is treasured and protected, but it is never broken or destroyed. And this was the story that was told to me by Margaret uh, Gutierrez, who's a potter in the San Santa Clara Pueblo in New Mexico. I've been to all of the Pueblos. And what are the color feels? Like, I noticed you use kind of this similar colors over and over. Is that traditional color feel for th Well, no, not necessarily. Uh, well, the, the terracotta, the turquoise, and the black, yes. And I've kind of, uh, you know, I want, I want everyone to enjoy a piece of Indian, jewel, uh, Indian uh, pottery. And all of my pieces are functional. They're all they're all glazed on the inside. They hold liquid. That can be a vase. These are ones that I just freehand draw. And all of that, you said the gold is 14 karat? Uh, no, I think it's more of an 18 karat. 18 karat yes. gold? It's, so it's real gold and that you, you see. Have. Now, see the difference here? Now, this is the same, this is the same gold. But you see what I, I design them differently. Mm -hmm. And you said you pour, it's poured. It's a slip, it's a, a liquid slip that's poured, poured into a mold. Okay. And set up, and then I take them from there. And you fire them three times. Even. And that's to get the different colors, or how, why are they fired three times? Well, because first of all, you put the glaze on them, uh -huh. and that's fired at an 04, 05 temperature. And then, once that comes out of the kiln, then you put the glaze in, and the glaze is fired at a less, lesser temperature, okay. which is an 06 firing. Then the third firing is when you put the gold in, the lines, and that is fired then with an 018, which is a very cool firing. Gotcha. But if you fire that at, at, at a higher temperature, it just burns gold off. You know? And one of the things that if you make a mistake, or you're working with a piece, and you hear a crack, and you will, you hear a ping or a crack, throw it away. I don't even bother with it because it's not worth it's not worth it. Because it's broken. Chan well, chances are, if it if it has a hairline crack and you're able to fix it, it'll blow in the kiln. I mean, it'll come apart in the kiln. So it's it's just not worth it. So, what's your favorite piece that you have here? I think these pieces here, where I can just set and draw. I use a soft pencil to begin with. Just set and draw a scene. You know, and I, I love to depict the Indian maiden. Um, so that's more creative for you getting to use your creativity yes, more. Yes, exactly. exactly. Awesome. And how can somebody reach you if they want to buy one of your pieces? Well, they can phone me 
Uh, is that I've, something you want to give out? Or? I have an email address. Okay, why don't you give your email address? It's pabarkley34 at aol.com. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.